hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, small position adjustment animation when the character is doing the attacks so here as you can see if i initiate the attack a little bit further from the character target enemy you can see character jumps forward a little bit so this is actually evade back that's something i do by pressing the weird animation at uh, weird input but here as you can see if i start the attack character tries to move forward by doing a little jump so uh, both enemy both ai characters and the player character can do that so the reason that i wanted to implement this is earlier i had a i had the same system but it actually what it does is through the code i just move the character without any proper animation so it works but it looks bad in the gameplay especially when the characters do heavy attacks enemies do heavy attack that moment change the location change is clearly visible so that's why i wanted to do that location change with the animation so and also this system works with replication as well let me show you all right so let's play with the client this client and let me change the angle so that fight should be clearly visible for the players right now here if i attack you can see the evade back and jump forward animations are properly replicated uh, between multiple instances of the game all right so that's actually all that will be that's what i want to do in this episode at the end of this episode you will have this jump forward ability and location adjustment to properly land the attacks so yeah before i get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page link would be in the description below and once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so i'll leave the link in description feel free to check it out and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing you can watch all the episodes that i have done from my channel for free of course and uh, there i have shown everything all the steps all the things that i have implemented from scratch in detail so i leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below all right and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so right now what happens is if i start fighting here if i attack you can see i disabled the moment part in a previous video because uh, i don't want to snap the character character's position so because of that now we don't it's really hard to attack because we have to be we have to move the character to make sure that it actually hit the enemy to make sure the characters are within the range that they get hit see which is not very convenient and the system previously i had and i disabled is this tag sort here this part where I manually set the location of the player to a closer position like this see it's not so here you can see but what happens is the characters are manually moved forward so that's visible especially when they do uh, 
a heavy attack like that see when we snap uh, when we evade back that is clear so i want to have a, instead of moving manually through the code i want to have a natural way maybe do some jump forward a quick jump forward animation and then do the attacks i want to do something like that so in my animations i have this evade forward animation which is this so what i'm planning to do is if the character is uh, far from the uh, target enemy closest enemy that the player wants to attack i want to play this animation and make sure character moves forward before it do the attack animation so first let's create a montage and also i'll enable road motion for this so that character will actually move forward okay and then uh, one more thing so this has to be quick so therefore i'll make this maybe twice the rate and also only in this part the actual movement happens the rest is just character standing still uh, not movement just stabilizing so maybe around here it's let me change the time format to seconds so at 0.27 it uh, it has done all the movement so i'll set the blend i'll make this blend time oh which one should i change this so this let's try this let's make this uh, 0.4 seconds so that from the end 0.4 0 0.6 minus 0.4 would be 0.2 let's try that and where should i play that animation so i think here so before we play the animation we need to make sure the character is facing towards the target enemy that means it would be this closest enemy so actually i have already done that here the, this setting rotation part is already done here so well let's duplicate this so that we have the same calculation and place it here Okay, I just position animation. Let's call it that. And then I don't want to set the location. So here we already set the rotation. So now here, if the distance is larger than 200 let's play a montage and wait i'll play this montage all right and uh, now here the exit output should be actually not here it should be here on blend out or uninterrupted and if there are no valid actors in that case also we should exit and also here if there is no larger than 200 distance then we don't really need to move the characters all right Uh, one more thing here when we get the closest enemy how much of a distance we consider 250 okay 
maybe we should increase this now that we have a mechanism to jump forward the character is that all I think so let's try yeah, let's try and see all right so the character did do the jump forward see uh, enemy didn't do that did it enemy character is not doing the jump forward why not ah it is doing let's try again okay so one more thing i don't think now that i have i am doing this uh jump forward with the animation we may not need this part so i'll just break this and yeah i'll just set the rotation only just in case at the end character is facing some other direction and also i think i need to fine tune this a little bit because sometimes character is moving too closer to the enemy so in this case it's fine but if it is like this see it's not necessary to move that close looks fine here so maybe see that was too close see that's too close so maybe we can do something like this so by this time character has moved half of the distance and here it moves the rest so I think if I create a new montage section here let's call it mid default and mid and then here let's do if the distance is larger than let's say 275 here I'll select the starting section if this is true then the starting section is default otherwise that means if the distance is less than 275 it would be enough to move only half of the distance that we normally get from the jump forward or evade forward animation so starting it just on the middle should move the character only the half of that distance okay yeah see now it moving moves only a reasonable amount all right let's see how the enemies use that ability they move too much actually but yeah they are attacking all right maybe let's move this a little bit further so and let's see seems better okay all right so I think we can stop this episode right here let's let me just finish this all guys off let's do a finisher 
Oh, I couldn't do a finisher. I couldn't time my block in properly. Let's wait for another blockable letter. Right. Great. Okay. For another blockable attack. Oh, it's an unblockable attack. So yeah, that's actually all I want to do, do for today's episode. Great. So as for the next episodes, maybe I should look into. Uh, well, I need to cover stealth attacks like stealth takedowns and also I need to have multiple different types of weapons as well but yeah, let's see maybe we need to polish up the AI of the enemy anyway, let's continue to work on this step by step until it becomes perfect and I forgot to test one more thing but I don't really have to test this should work without any issue in the multiplayer mode as well so let's test with the client right so both all other players can see the fight so as you can see move forward and backward evasion and roll uh, roll everything is working properly it replicates as well all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download the patreon page link would be in the description below see you in the next episode feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below and goodbye